Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review video on the Huda Desert Dust Palette. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this, just keep watching. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I would urge you to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in that. And without further ado, let's get into my review of this new palette. Okay guys, so again, like I said, the palette is called the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Now this is what the box looks like and this is by the brand Huda Beauty. Now this brand has definitely been around for a while and previously they did come out with the textured rose gold palette. So this is the second addition to their palette series. Apart from eyeshadow palettes, they also make false lashes as well as liquid lipsticks. I do own some of our liquid lipsticks as well as some of our lashes. I actually wore the Samantha lashes on my wedding day. Personally, not a huge fan of the lashes. I think the band is way too thick, but I do like the lineup of color she has with her liquid lipsticks. She's also coming up with foundations really soon here. I am probably not going to get the foundation because I want to focus on the collection I have right now, but I just kind of wanted to get give you guys a little bit of background on the brand and the product offering they have. Um, this brand was founded by Huda Katan and she, I believe, Leave, grew up in America but now is based in Dubai and created Huda Beauty with her sisters. So they did start with lashes but now they're rapidly expanding their brand and she does have a YouTube channel I believe. I'm not subscribed to her YouTube channel but if I remember I will go ahead and link it down below. Now I purchased my palette from the Sephora website the day it launched. This launched on 918 and I'm filming my review in October. It is still available on Sephora's website, which I am personally really happy about. I feel like recently palettes haven't just been selling out in a couple of hours, which makes me so, so happy because honestly, I was kind of getting sick of complaining about that or, you know, you do a review and it's like the palette's not even available for people to buy. So I'm glad that Sephora and Huda Beauty did a good job of keeping the palette in stock. That makes me really, really happy. You can find it on Sephora.com. It's also for sale on the Huda Beauty website. I would not recommend if you live in the United States ordering it from the Huda website because it is international and you have to hit $75 to get free shipping. Otherwise, I believe the shipping charge is like $20 and Sephora will ship it to you for for free. Now I believe this palette is um, limited edition. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't find the answer to that question. All I know is this palette is getting discontinued but it has been around for about two years so I'm assuming this one will replace the rose gold palette and will be available until she maybe comes out with her next palette. So who knows? Not sure. I think it's permanent but don't quote me on that at all. This palette does cost $65 and like I said it is free shipping on Sephora's website. There are no discount codes that I know of that you can use in conjunction with this palette purchase. If you are patient enough you could pick this up uh, for 20% off during the Sephora VIB sale. That happens in November so you got a few weeks before you can do that but uh, that is an option too if you don't want to pay full price for it. As far as the packaging goes, I really love it. This is definitely heavier than this original palette. I really like that she actually did it like a palette this time. So there is a huge mirror in here and then the shadows are in the same type of container. Like it is still cardboard, but it just feels more luxe, especially with the mirror. And since it was $65, I know that's a lot of people's complaint with this one was these textured shadows are definitely, I think, supposed to be in like an airtight kind of container and they're not. So like this whole top row is pretty much unusable for me and it just looks cheap like the, it came with a sleeve which is really beautiful but you don't really need the sleeve so if you didn't keep the sleeve you're stuck with a very cheap looking palette whereas this one feels a lot more luxurious and she did also include this beautiful you know sheet cover to protect the mirror when you open the palette so the presentation of this palette is much much more beautiful than the original palette as well now according to the box this palette was made in Italy and the amount of product is 0.81 ounces in each pan so the total amount of product that you get in this palette is 25.2 grams which I think is pretty decent. Okay, so in this old palette, the total amount of product you get is 18 grams. So you get significantly more product in the new palette. I don't, 
I don't think that was mentioned very often in any of the reviews I saw of the new Desert Dust palette, but that is good that they're giving us more product. That makes me happy. Now, as far as shade selection goes, there are eight matte shades, and then there are six pressed pearl eyeshadows, as well as three dual chrome shades. So obviously the matte shades are things like Desert Sand, we have Musk, Eden, Amber, Ode, Amethyst, Saffron, Blazing, all are matte shades. Then we have the six pressed pearl eyeshadows, as she calls them. So there's going to be Turkish Delight, which is down here. It's like a beautiful red-pink tone right here. Um, there's Angelic, which is a really beautiful color, and that actually is a repeat from the original palette. If you look at your original palette, this shade right here, Angelic, is a shade in this new palette. So I thought that was really strange that that was the only one that was repeated, but it is a beautiful shade, so I kind of understand why she did it. Also, Cashmere, Royal, Nefertiti, and Blood Moon are all part of that six press pearl eyeshadow range. And then we have the three dual chrome toppers, which include Retrograde, Twilight, and Celestial. Now, I did wear Retrograde on my lids, so you can see that in the demo, because I did film this look for you guys. And then there is one straight up press glitter in this palette which is Cosmo so definitely want to make sure you use a glitter glue with those dual chrome shades again I will show you how I put this on in the demo so let's go ahead and insert the demo right here okay guys so now we're gonna get into the demo portion of this review video I have my Huda Desert Dust palette right here usually don't have a look in mind I just start and kind of go for it of course my foundation is done and my eyelid, eyelids are primed. I haven't put any other face makeup on yet, so we can go ahead and start with setting my lids. And for that, I usually like to use these Wet n Wild shadow brushes. They're just nice and fluffy, and I'm going to dip into the shade Desert Sand, which is like perfect for setting your whole lid. And I always use it for the brow bone highlight as well. So it's primed and ready, and then I'm just going to go into the shade called Musk. It's the next shade in the palette. I'm just going to put that all in the crease to kind of start up a transition. And I'm going to use my Morphe M441 brush. These brushes are clean. And then there's not too much fallout. It's a little bit dusty. Next, I'm going to dip into the shade Eden, which is the next one. It's like a peachy orange shade. It's so beautiful. I'm just going to keep using the same brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the shade Amber, which is the fourth shade in the palette. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to put that in the crease. So this is what I have so far. Now I'm going to take something just a little bit more tapered. This is the Morphe M443. Looks a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do is dip into the shade Saffron, which is a red shade in the palette right here. And I'm going to use that on the outer V. So concentrating the most product in the outer corner and then slowly dragging it in. And then there's also this gorgeous orange shade in the palette called Blazing. I'm going to put a little bit of that kind of on the outer corner. Something like that. And then to darken up the outer V, I'm going to dip into this shade Ode, which is right here. It's the dark brown. There's not really a black in here, so I'm glad they did include like a dark brown shade. And I'm just going to use the Sonia Kashuk brush and then kind of place that right in that outer crease. Just kind of blend it into the crease. This is like a sh flat shader brush and I love to use it for this exact purpose because I think it's a really a good shape. It has the amount of bristles I need to kind of really get in there. Okay, so pretty simple. Now I want to do a lid color 
And for these, after testing this palette, I do, I mean, I didn't even test it without a glitter glue because I just knew it wouldn't work. So I'm going to use the Too Faced glitter glue. I have a different glitter glue, but honestly, that one is just like too much for just a shadow. I use that for like straight up glitter. So I'm going to take this ColourPop flat shader brush, put a little bit of this glitter glue on my hand here, and then just dip this and use this to kind of mark out where I want to put down the glue. I usually use my finger to do this, but honestly, you almost kind of want to be kind of precise with this process. So I'm deciding to use a brush. You do kind of have to work pretty fast with the glue because it will dry up. And honestly, I don't like a lot of Too Faced products, but I'll tell you that glitter glue works really well and uh it's definitely worth having in your collection so i'm going to go with the shade retrograde because i think it's beautiful and i'm just going to use my finger tap it into the palette and then just tap it on my lids So as you can see, this is a really beautiful duochrome shade. It's so, so pretty. It has a whole bunch of reflect in it, and this is going to be so fun for the holidays. So yeah, that's pretty much my demo. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my whole face, and then I will be right back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. I hope it gave you an idea of how these shadows perform on the eye. I also do want to mention this palette has a shelf life of 12 months. And it launched on 918, and I received it from Sephora on, on 920. Now I am a VIB Rouge member, so I do get free two-day flash shipping. I'm not sure if this is vegan or cruelty-free. It doesn't say on the packaging, so I'm going to assume that it is not. But if I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments down below. The brand does claim that these are very high pigmented, and they also say that these are new formulas. So a big complaint that I had with this palette is I hated the texture and shadows. She actually doesn't even call this a textured sh shadow palette anymore. It's just called the Rose Gold Palette. So I think Huda kind of realized that those shadows were not something anyone wanted to deal with. The mattes in here are really, really good. I actually did a video featuring this palette and I used it on my eyes very recently and talked about if I could repurchase this, would I repurchase it? So. I will link this up in the cards because that video was so much fun to film and I think it was very insightful, especially two years after its release. You know, if I still enjoy it or don't enjoy it, you'll have to check out that video. But yeah, I think she realized these shadows were a flop. So it is interesting that she did reformulate. Now, personally, I did check the ingredients, but I'm not really a chemist. So to me, I did see, you know, the usual, there is um, mica in the palette as well as like dimethicone and like the usual. It does say that the palette is talc free, so if you do have a talc allergy, you can still purchase this palette, which is great. Definitely saw that they had changed the formula quite a bit, especially because there were no like textured rose shades in this new palette. As far as application goes, I have no problem with it. It does have a little bit of kick up, nothing like subculture level kick up, but it is very easy to blend. I think the shadows are beautiful. I love the color selection and the wear time was really good as well. I've obviously worn this palette multiple times. I will insert pictures of different looks that I have created with this palette. I've actually been posting on Instagram every time I have used this palette. So if you are curious to see what palettes I'm testing out at the moment, Instagram is a good place to check me out and my handle is the same. It's Karen Harris Makeup. So definitely remember to follow me on there because I have been commenting on, you know, what I think of the palette. I also already did a swatch party video on this palette. So if you're interested in seeing swatches, and like my first impressions, I will link that video in the cards as well. Finally, would I recommend this palette to you guys? I honestly would. I think it's a fantastic palette. I've included this in quite a few products. I regret videos, like I wish I'd never bought it, all kinds of videos. I like to talk a lot of shit about this palette, which sounds really terrible, but honestly, I just at the time, being where I was in life and like having tried the makeup I had tried, I just thought it wasn't really worth the price. If I had bought this for like 40 bucks, I wouldn't have been as mad, but 
I actually bought this on her website and it did ship from Dubai. Now, when she came out with this palette, she actually made it available on Sephora.com the same time as it went on the Huda palette or very close. Like, we didn't have to wait for it to get to America, whereas the Rose Gold palette, there was quite a bit of wait on this. There was a like a month or so before this was made available in the United States, so me being the completely impatient person that I am, I had to buy it on the Huda website, and I really did regret it at the time. I actually had a friend who ordered it in Sri Lanka from the Huda website, and she had an even worse time because I think she never actually ended up getting her palette from Huda itself and she bought it quite recently off of a different website or something like that. Anyway, just watching her struggle almost made me angry. This palette was not my favorite but honestly I think that if these are your colors, you know, this is a great palette and yes warm tone palettes are so in right now and everyone's coming out with a warm tone palette but I think this one is different enough just because of those dual chrome shades and that pressed glitter I think it's a little bit different where it does set it apart I like how she threw in that amethyst shade this one reminds me a lot of the Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain since this has more shades in it there's a little bit more like you can do a really good all matte look you can do a really good glitter eye you can do a really like more neutral color you know look right here using the mattes and then like this brown and like a gold shade so you can get a little bit more out of this palette than most of the other warm tone palettes that are coming out justify it however you want i i mean i don't think this is something you're gonna need if you have like 800 other you know pressed glitters and these shades but if you want it and you've been thinking about it i would say as far as formula goes there's nothing to worry about i think this one is definitely worth more of that high ticket price because it's luxe packaging, there's a mirror, you can get it on Sephora, you don't have to wait for it to come to America, things like that. Anyway, this palette, I like it. I think it's a good one. If there is a makeup junkie in your life that you're looking to get some awesome gifts for this holiday season, I would definitely recommend this palette and the packaging. Again, super, super pretty. Her signature, she always does the different eye looks. You guys have all seen these everywhere, so. Anyway, I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. If I missed anything, just ask me down in the comments. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye.